What up, y'all? So this is happening. This is new to me. Um, I just wanted to share some of the ideas that I'm practicing with to to acclimate myself to her. Um, yeah, I'm doing pizzicato at this point. I'm just walking. Um, I've got a bow, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to get my left hand feeling comfortable with intonation. Um, so yeah, I've got some ideas. Um, I'm, I've got the Samandal technique, I've got book one, and I'm working on exercise seven, which is in the key of B flat right now. Um, and so what I'm doing is I've got a drone going from my phone on B flat, and then I started at 80 beats per minute, and each time I've successfully played it through, um, I, I raised the BPM three. So right now I'm at like 113. Um, and so what I'm trying to do, it's hit or miss, it's kind of tricky, but I'm trying to play through my mistakes, um, but then I'm also trying to go back after the exercise and trying to mark the mistakes. And so I've got two colors of highlighters that I'm going to try and use. I've got pink for the pizzicato, and then once I go through with the bow, um, I'll use yellow. And so I'm kind of curious to see, um where my mistakes align. Um, a couple of things that I've noticed so far just from the mistakes that I've marked is that uh, my transitions from system to system, so at the end of one system into the next system, sometimes I'm sloppy and I'm not reading ahead, which is making errors. Um, the other thing is kind of falling asleep at the wheel, so to speak, and not watching for far enough ahead to notice that the patterns are changing. Um, it's hard, like what I'm, I'm working towards, some of like my real goals right now are like a consistent goal, you know, a consistent sound in my right hand. I'm watching my posture. I'm trying to keep my finger aligned with the bridge, or not the bridge, but the end of the, the fingerboard. Um, the other thing is intonation. What I'm noticing in my intonation is that the fourth scale degree tends to be flat, I think, not in tune, um, which is just interesting because like here, We've got one, two, three, four, like it should be fairly intuitive, but that seems to be the pitch that I'm noticing I'm out on the most. Um, and then like body language, you know, like I'm trying to like have good posture with this thing. Um, and then I, I'm basically playing through until I fatigue on an exercise, trying to get a sense of stamina, uh, how long I can play for. Um, it's interesting that like there was kind of a warm up this morning in this hand um, it felt really challenging to play the exercise through two or three times. And then once I was kind of in the groove and playing the exercise over and over again, my stamina just like it kind of awoke. Um, and I've been able to play for, I don't know, maybe a half an hour now without feeling much tension. Um, so yeah, uh, this hand is doing better. I've blistered a couple of times on my middle knuckle on my pointer finger, um, which is to be expected. I'm building a new callus. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm doing. Oh, I guess the other thing I should say is that the half, that those are half notes. The click is a half note. And I'm trying to place it on two and four um, because I feel like I'm less strong with those points of reference in time. So it'd be two, three, four, one, 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 two, three. So that said, what I'm noticing rhythmically is that uh, I want to rush when my subdivisions change, which I've been told that I like to rush. 
Um, but it's just interesting that that's when I like to rush, is when I'm moving between half notes and quarter notes. Um, yeah, that's, that's the deal. That's what I've been working on. Um, any, any criticisms in technique? Uh, I like constructive criticism. Tell me what you think I could do better. Um, I want to get good at this. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, y'all.